Hi everyone, I'm Nafisa, the Digital Art School producer here at Hospital Rooms. I just wanted to give you a big warm welcome and thank you for joining today's session with Nengi Omuku. I really hope you enjoyed today's workshop and if you hang on until the end, I'll let you know how you can engage further with the Hospital Rooms Digital Art School community. You should have everything you need for today's workshop in front of you, so let's get started. Over to you Nengi. Hello everyone, my name is Nengi Omuku, I'm a painter and today we'll be doing a workshop where we'll be painting a tropical plant. It's called Bird of Paradise and it grows in warm regions and we will be using first acrylic paints for the background just to set the ground and if you have a little thing of water to clean your brushes, some acrylic brushes and some oil pastels. So the most important thing I'd say is there is no right or wrong way to approach this drawing. You know, it can, it can evolve into something that doesn't necessarily look like flowers and can just look like shapes. So absolutely do not put any pressure on yourself when you're, when you're doing this. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm just wetting the surface a little bit so the acrylic paint moves a bit smoother across the surface. So I'm just dipping my brush in water and wetting the surface all over. If you happen to have a spray bottle, you can also spritz the surface a little bit. So we're working on acrylic canvas paper that should be in your pack as well. You could either put this on your palette and go with your brush, but another way you could do this is just like dot paint around the surface randomly just in whatever uh, pattern you like. And I'm going to dot some reds as well. Oops, that was a little bit too much. <laughs> and so I'll wet my brush and just dab it on some tissue so it's not too wet. And I'm just going to blend the red, put that in a bit of water so it moves around. Move this a little bit. I'll go on to the next red area. I started by blending the lighter colour so that I can use the same brush. It makes cleaning easy at the end. <laughs> you just have to clean one brush. <laughs> and then I'll go into the purple areas and I'll just make them gently meet the red areas. This is typically how I start most of my paintings. It just makes the white surface a little bit less intimidating because sometimes if you want to start painting it can be a bit scary if you're just looking at a blank white uh, surface and don't worry if the acrylic has dried a little bit acrylic dries quite quickly um, and you have some some dots around the surface it, it'll just add interesting texture <laughs> And it doesn't have to be smooth. And at the end, you can put your tissue paper in water and just dab. And you can make a little bit more texture around the surface and blend in a little bit. And then we can just wait a few minutes, maybe two minutes for this to dry. So we're going to start the drawing and this is what we'll be working with, this plant. And if you look at it, it's basically just 
a lot of triangles. So it's if you just think about it like that, it, it won't look as complex as the image might look. So I'm going to get a brown oil pastel just so that I can draw the shapes first. I'll move this away for a bit. Okay. So I'm going to start with this first flower in the, the big one in the front. Paper isn't completely dry, but I think it will dry as we go along. So remember, there's no wrong or right way to approach this. Just draw many triangles. <laughs> like a blue one just there, an orange. Yay, so the first one is, is, is done. So that's the main flower and, and the rest is just leaves and some other background ones. So we could probably draw one more. You don't have to draw all of them as well. Pick the ones you like. <laughs> and draw and then you can also add things that you want you can add like abstract things if you just want to add like other triangles in the background the stem And then we'll add another a leaf. You can add a couple more leaves if you want, but like I said, you don't have to add every single thing that's in the image. The image is only for reference. For the drawing part, we're going to be using oil pastels. And the first color I will start with, I think is orange, because that's the main color for this plant. Um, and so you just colour the bits that are orange. So to make it stand out a little bit from the background, I'm going to use some white to put highlights around it. You can see like there's some light bits around this particular one. I'll put some more orange in the middle. The great thing about also painting the surface in this way is you already have a painting. <laughs> so anything you put on it is just adding to it without the pressure. Picking a lighter orange for this, this one. And I'll put a dark one on the edge just for a little bit of shadow. And you can also color outside the lines. It's and I think this is why it's called a bird of paradise, because it looks like an exotic bird. You have this interesting purple thing <laughs> sticking out of the plant. And I'm just going to color that now. I'm going to use two shades of purple, one darker, that's this one. And then a lighter one. Yay. And then go back to the orange. So for this one, I'm going to just paint like different lines in in orange, some light and some slightly darker. do this one in a deeper orange. Back to purple. 
Also, if you want to swap out the colors for any other color you like, feel free to do that. I'm just going with the colors that I have in front of me because it's easier. Feel free to pause the video as well at any point. Yay. Now we're going to bring out a little bit of green and pink for this um, the stem bits of the of the flower. So yes, like I said, use whatever color works for your painting. We finished the first one. So we will now go on to the second one, which is smaller and much easier. Basically, at the end of this exercise, you're just supposed to have one of the most colorful things. <laughs> and you can hang in your room. Just bring a bit of color and sunshine into your space. So now we're going to do a couple of leaves. So you can see the veins of the leaves. So just paint green in sort of like lines that go a little bit across. And you can leave little gaps for the veins and the, back, the background can peep through that just to add a little bit of interest to the leaves. If it's easier, you can draw out first where you want to paint and then fill in the color. <laughs> My lines aren't really matching, but that's also okay. So you would notice as well, <laughs> I'm not really working exactly directly with the image. I'm just excited about coloring this leaf <laughs> and making these, these patterns. So just go with what makes you happy really.
So it's no longer a leaf, it's more like an abstract thing <laughs> that's behind the flowers. And I'll put all the leaves in the screen. I could put some lighter green lines in between for this one. Yeah, that makes me happy. So I'm going to, going to do that for the other one. It's really important not to put yourself under pressure when you're doing this. And to remember that like anything goes, <laughs> there's no right or wrong way to draw flowers or to draw anything really. So what we're going to do finally is we're going to get a light grey. We want this flower to stand out a little bit from the background. So we're just going to outline. Let me see if I can go lighter with that. Actually, I'll use white. I'm just going to go around the bird of paradise and just give it like a border. And you could also change colors as you go around, because why not? The background is yours to play with. So if you want to add abstract designs, you can do that. If you want to leave it as it is, go ahead with that as well. And with this, it becomes a lot more than just painting a flower. It just becomes a painting of happiness, really. Because <laughs> what we're doing is really just colouring. And if you like, you could also go around the leaf, but I think that leaf is fine on its own. Yay, I think I'm going to stop here, but feel free to continue with the background. You could leave it as it is, or you could just keep <laughs> drawing lines around everything. So that's it. This is where I'm stopping today, but feel free to keep going if you'd like. Um, it has been an absolute pleasure um, doing this workshop for Hospital Rooms Digital Art School. And from what I understand, there's also an online gallery where everyone can upload their own drawings. And please do, I would love to see what you've all created. And this has been an absolute delight to do this with you. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed today's workshop and thank you so much for joining us. We'd love to see the artwork that you created today. So make sure to upload to our digital art school gallery that's available on our website. We also invite you to please complete the survey that's available because your voice matters to us and it's crucial in helping us to shape the future of the digital art school, which in turn will help others find joy and healing through arts. You can find the links to both the digital art school gallery and the survey in the description below. Thanks again, and we really hope to see you for the next one.